Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover. Let's continue playing as this thick Russian SFSR. And you know what I just thought of? I think we've had quite a bit of time with China here. So I'm going to go ahead and relinquish one of their many states to me. So this has 14 building slots. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I'll go ahead and transfer this, tra this province back to them so that they feel like we really support them. Sorry, uh, Manchuria. You're not really going to get too much bigger. Um, yeah, pretty good so far. Uh, I had a comment yesterday saying that I should create some mega puppets when I take people over. And you know what? I completely agree, and I already have. Uh, so right now we have the Brazilian Socialist Republic, which will take out about, like I said at the beginning of the last video, actually. Half of these guys, half of South America will go come under them. The other half will come under probably Argentina or Colombia or something. I'm not really sure yet. Doesn't really matter who it really, in my opinion, is in control. Just as long as I am in control in the end. Let's go ahead and build the air bases here. A little bit more infrastructure sounds great. And we actually haven't quite united with this side yet, but that's okay. Um, right now, oh, I finally got 10 task forces for convoy raiding. So over through this side of this Atlantic, or this, you know, the Atlantic Ocean. Allies cannot really move through here, so next up is develop a lot of subs for the Pacific. So we completely surround the enemies, that'd be great. Also, I just told my guys to go ahead and rebase themselves, my Pacific fleet, to rebase themselves in the West Emperor chain, so this way they can go ahead and repair if they need to just quickly, and so they can get back out and actually do escort missions and naval support so we can invade all sorts of different little islands and fun stuff like that. So. Yeah, hope you guys are having a good day regardless. Um, yeah, pretty good. Uh, for me personally right now, what I've been watching on YouTube uh, has been a lot of Boko and One's Hoi4 videos, his multiplayer videos. Just, they can be so crazy and so, I guess, meme -y. That's a terrible word, but it just, it's a lot of fun just watching his videos, you know. Um, just him and his friends just going at it, just screaming and yelling yelling at each other all the time having a good time screwing each other up it just it's a lot of fun watching those videos and watching other people play hoi 4 so um yeah a lot of fun it's gonna bring up something else related to that but i can't remember now whatever uh how's this going down here in Peru? it's going all right not great these are our mountaineers they're 40 width they have logistic companies which is good uh but eh I mean, they're all right. Oh, La Paz. We won't be in La Paz for very long, but go ahead and build up the infrastructure there, because why not? Do that area as well, since we have plenty of civilian factories. So no real worries there. Ships are all still repairing. Right. Oh, well, maybe not, actually. Where are those ships? We're trying to finish up Australia. Uh, ships, 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 ships. Alexander Gorbatov has been wounded. Faced by the promoted. Good eight. Docked in Midway. Probably because a lot of you guys are actually repairing, maybe? Maybe not. Oh, some of you guys are in queue. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I told everyone to come here, which was probably actually a bad idea. Um, I mean, if I can, go ahead and increase this so that we can actually get a lot of ships out, hopefully. Um, there's no real rush for me to... Ooh, hello. For me to actually invade the United States. But there, I kind of am in a rush, just because I have, like, five more, like, thumbnails before I run out. Because I actually use a different uh, thumbnail editor this time than most of my other times. Because I usually use GIMP, but then GIMP kind of screwed itself up. I'm not sure how it did that. But regardless, regardless, I have about five more <laughs> thumbnails by the time this video comes out. So, within five videos, we should be done with this series. So... And I have been thinking about the next series. I've been thinking about playing a different mod. It's a mod that I've never played before, and, and I will actually treat it. I'll treat that mod the same way I treated uh, Equestria at War, the My Little Ponies mod, which was actually really cool. Can't believe I just said that, but yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So I'll definitely give it a, a whirl, give it a little spin, and see how that world is like. Ooh, only one, that's not good enough. I don't want to build just level one radar. That's kind of a waste of time. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh, four, wow, four more jungle divisions? Awesome. Throw them out of here. That would be great. Uh, you already jungle divisions. You guys are moving down there. You don't need to move. You're alright. Awesome. 
Over 9 million manpower. That's great. Can we do anything interesting here? Mountain Infantry 6. Ah, uh, improved worker conditions? Eh, why not? We could use more stability. That sounds like fun. Region-wide integration? Sure, why not? Mountaineers. Is that it? Oh, that's it for them. Nice. Get some better Marines, I, I guess, perhaps. Another mechanized division. Great. Are you the one who... No. Are you... This is the one. South America. Yeah. South America is the one we want. And it does look like Germany did invade this Newfoundland. They invaded Newfoundland. Jungle Specialist 5. Great. And let's get a little bit more organization after that. Have we sunk something here? Ah, another destroyer. Great. Yeah, this was maybe a really bad idea to put all these ships here. Uh, I'll tell you instead to actually move... Yeah, they're level 1. It's pretty garbage. I mean, I mean, honestly, all these specific places are pretty garbage, so... I'll give them just a little bit more time. But how many ships actually need repair? 11 days, 1.1, 3. That's not bad. Battlecruiser needs 18. 1.7 months. That's a little bit less than 2. Ooh, yeah, I'm probably going to move these ships out and just tell them to go ahead and do whatever they need to do. Like, help escort stuff, and I'll individually select task forces to move on out. Eh, go and do that, because no, screw that. Also, I do have a carrier here. We have our first Russian SFS carrier, who is guarded by a bunch of convoys, or not convoys, but destroyers, as well as light cruisers. So, that's pretty great. Go ahead and patrol. Alright, everyone's going to go ahead and patrol. But really, they should do naval invasion support. So you guys are repairing. Some of these guys, they could repair, I guess. Or they actually already are. And finally, there goes Australia. Oh, wow, that's a lot of guns. I could actually use those guns. Free dockyards, huh? Uh, get rid of the Mexicans and British and other people in that state. Um, I already did a lot of subs. I have one carrier. Uh, I made more battle cruisers. One or two, yeah, two more battle cruisers. Um, honestly, I don't really need that much more. We're pr already doing pretty darn well. I mean, maybe, if I have to do anything, it'd probably be a capital ship. So, if I have to do another capital ship, oh, what is this? The battle cruiser compared to a super heavy. The piercing is 96.6, 47. Oh, this definitely has less heavy attack. Oh, that's actually worse than the battle cruiser. Armor is 55, the battle cruiser's armor is 30. Ah, there's a difference. 30 speed, max range. Max range, but definitely slower. So actually, yeah, uh, I, I guess, why not? Throw another one of those boys on there. Got him to good old Leningrad. And then we'll actually build another ship as well. Um, I love carriers, but you can only use so many carriers in a single group. Let's just build some more light cruisers. Light cruisers are awesome, awesome, awesome. Do that, do that, and do that. Very nice. A few more thingies. If you have any others, just throw them on the tank divisions. That'd be fine. Nope, and nothing else there. Great. Well, at least Australia is done and finished. Uh, naval invasions. Oh, yeah, put everyone on this stuff. Uh, instead of just everyone, let's go ahead and send... Actually, where's the carrier? The carrier group could probably do pretty well against convoys. Since they have planes that they could use. Uh, where did I put it? Maybe it's repairing, actually. Uh, it's easier to just look like this. All right, and you are right here. Do some convoy rating. You do convoy rating. Honest, you're actually still repairing. Oh, oh, someone has actually got their torpedo tubes disabled, huh? That's kind of kind of weird. Uh, regardless, people that can move around, go ahead and move around if you can. That would be lovely. And we're off. Very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very good. Uh, actually, I'm probably not going to worry about Tas Tasmania. Yeah, I mean, they have no divisions. They have a little bit of manpower, but I'm not really going to be concerned about it too much. So, that means we're going to go ahead and take the United States Islands of Hawaii. But we already have another group over here. Um, well, we have another group trying to make their way over here. Let's exit out of you. Uh, at least I hope they're making their way over there, because if not... Oh, hello there. Ah, nothing like a bunch of Poles that are going to invade the United States. Go ahead and do this, do that. And actually, we don't need a lot of naval bases here, but... 
We will need some. Eh, one's good. That should be good enough. Awesome. So, because you are part of the Western Fruit fruit Western Group, I'm going to put you over here. And I'm going to go ahead and start telling you guys to prepare yourselves for the invasion of good old Alaska. So, Alaska is going to be a pain in the booty to actually try to invade. Now, I'm looking for a port. Ah, all the way over here. All right, so be it. I'll leave those six divisions from over here. Oh, so far, two, but you know what I mean. And then, actually, yeah, now it's six, and we'll invade all this area, which will be glorious. Oh, crap. Actually, that I need to get rid of this first. Oh, god dang it. Well, we gotta redo it. God dang it. Uh, one. Two over here. Please, come on. Yep, thank you. Uh, do it from here to, to there. And do it from here, same spot, to go right next to that little spot right there. Which will put us right next to the Canadian border. So those are six divisions coming from there. Another group will come from this pesky little island to over here that will probably starve for supplies, but don't tell the Polish people that. Don't tell the Poles that we're going to make them starve. Um, honestly, just capturing a lot of the coast would probably be good, so we can build a lot of ports. And we'll do another group from here as well. Cascadia. Oh, we can probably... Oh, hold on. It kind of glitched itself. Back from Atu to this island over here. Yeah, it's another island, but it's still good to take those islands. Uh, sure, we'll come from here too. And attempt to take this area. Yeah, it's not exactly Alaska, but... It's Cascadia. Close enough. Close enough to Alaska. Um, Just in case we'll land there. And then we'll land on the other side of that port as well. Screw it, we're taking motorized, mechanized. These are mechanized soldiers. So we're all coming from this area. Uh, you could probably support one more group there. Two over here. That would actually be pretty good. Nice. So we've already begun to plan our invasion, which will be great, great, great. And, ooh, a heavy cruiser. Nice. A light cruiser. And another light cruiser. Delicious. Oh, oh, we've actually begun the... I forgot we've begun the invasion. We couldn't quite land over here. Looks like the British are trying to leave. Eh, so be it, you know. Could we... Oh, we can't actually win there. So that means we're actually going to have to build a port here. Which is fine. Oh, well, well, I guess... Oh, we were almost completely defeated. Hold on here. Probably best to not to attack... And who actually failed to win here? Well, as long as they don't attack us, we'll probably be okay. And actually, take one of you guys, take the airbase. And maybe throw a supply over there, too. That would be lovely. Outdated equipment still, the 1944 Battlecruiser, because I think I updated the anti-air on it, so that actually would be a little better, which is good. Alright, you guys have more than enough time to come back. There's fewer divisions in here, so you actually should be able to do okay-ish. He's not an invader yet. He probably will never become an invader, really. So go ahead. Try to invade. I know it's six divisions. That's a little bit too much, but whatever. Oh, and they're trying to attack us here. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. 84, 85. Go ahead and tell these Filipinos that Hawaii is not theirs. Ah, beautiful. Oh, Revolutionary Peru is falling. I forgot to even look for Peru. Oh, oh, wow. This looks kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Uh, for you guys, ramp it up. I want more results, even though you might not be ready for more results yourself. Cool. Uh, air superiority in the Caribbean is actually d dog crap. Okay, then. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness, I gotta get rid of a lot of these bombers. Yes, I could trade them away to someone else, but I really don't feel like it. Regardless, I think we're still gonna do well in the end anyways. So, heavy bombers, let's get rid of some extra things that we really don't need because I don't want to see all this clutter. To me, this is all just clutter. Fighters. Who? <laughs> fighters? Why would you use regular fighters? Torpedo bombers. You guys, Jet Fighter 2s. No, 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 no. Rock interceptors. Nah. Even though I think they use less manpower. I think. I can't, I can't remember exactly. But no, 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 no. I'll leave this group here though. Awesome. That should be better. Oh, I gotta get rid of some more interwar bombers, god dang it. Um, jet fighters. I want jet fighters. Jet tactical bombers. 
Nice. That should be pretty good. These, this group is actually pretty darn good. Let's go back to medium bombers. Oh, look at all this garbage. Yeah, yeah, I could trade it away, but whatever. Should help out a little bit. You guys are doing alright. Not great, but you are actually doing quite a bit of damage to the enemies. So that's actually really good. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. Communist States of America. Oh, we've linked up over here. Very nice. Go ahead and kind of redistribute yourself. We will go to war with uh, Ecuador soon enough, but we'll see what happens first. All right, so since that's done, I'm going to tell individual groups to go ahead. Oh, you're repairing. Um, go and repair yourself. So that's actually really good. Were we able to take this? Oh, we were able to take this island. Nice. So we probably don't need the Southeast Pacific, South Central Pacific, even most of these islands, actually. We will need the Hawaii Ridge, but... Um, I'm going to actually tell you guys to rebase here. Because uh, that's uh, actually a level 10 port, which is probably the best place for us to repair. And then we will begin the invasion of Cascadia. And, oh, good job, Germany. Nice job. Actually, that's really good for us. It's really, really good for us. Um, 400 of you guys. Do Eastern Canada. It looks like you guys could use maybe a little bit more help here. Uh, increase it if you can. Maybe put on another port over here. Infrastructure. It's already pretty good. Nice. Oh, a British thingamabob. Awesome. So, if we're already over here, and I am building some ports up over here, you guys... You know what? We could probably invade Mexico from this area as well, but you will really not be my main naval invasion force. So, we will invade here to Baja, California. And of course, I won't launch this until we've actually successfully invaded um, the United States through Alaska, because that is part of my challenge at the current moment. So, go from here to invade, probably up here. From Honolulu, never been, actually, have I ever been to Honolulu? I think I might have been there as a kid, a very, very tiny kid, like, like two to three years old. Wow, what the heck, it sounds like some plane is flying very close to the ground here. I don't live near an airport. <laughs> um, okay, cool. You'll come from there. So we're going to invade Baja, California. If we could take, like, San Diego or LA, that would also be very awesome. And I think I'm probably just going to invade from this area. This might be too much supply I'm using for from Hawaii, but you know what? You never know. And one more. One more group. I know the supply is not going to be very good. Whatever. Um, do that just in case. Cool. The invasion of southern North America. Or is it central? I know Canada and USA are part of North America. Does that include Mexico? North American Free Trade Agreement. So I guess Mexico is part of North America. So it's really central southern uh, North America. Look at all these tentacles. Oh, love it. Cool. Uh, and how is it repairing for now? It's actually not too bad. They're Oh, they're moving. Oh, these guys are just doing stuff in Leningrad. Who cares about that? Oh, okay. Honolulu has a lot of stuff to do. You are in Maracaibo. Alright. Nice. We're doing a little better. A little bit more. Oh, the Karl Marx is getting repaired. I love it. I have some tea here, too. Hmm. Not bad. Pretty good amount of tea. Kind of manufactured. It tastes like it's manufactured, but you know, whatever. Ah, look at that. Ship's getting repaired. Very nice. What are you doing? You're not getting repaired? Line Island. Don't use Line Island in the Johnson Atoll. Oh, I gotta right click this. Oh, it's lagging even though it's only on three speed. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Right click. Oh, I didn't need a right click to say no, did it? Alright, cool. Izmir. Actually, Leningrad's a pretty good place to prepare. Nice. Alright, well, good enough. Oh, actually lost a plane. Oh, but is that it? All right, whatever. A few more destroyers. Good, good, good. Oh, that American light cruiser is going to get sunk. Oh man, at the time of this recording too, um, there was a Fervor Reich update. Apparently, I have played it, but oh my god, I the one time I played Germany again, in the latest update, point three, I think that's what it was. I just cancer playing as Germany, because at least for my attempt, uh, I had about. 
let's see, I was playing as Germany. The only countries or the only areas I could annex before war broke out was Denmark and the Kiel Zone in Furreich, as well as the Rhineland. I couldn't get Austria, I couldn't get Pol any part of Poland or Czechoslovakia or I guess Bohemia in this case. And so basically, when I played Furreich last night, or for you guys two nights ago, uh, I went, I didn't know that the focus for Germany uh, to demand Polish territory meant that if you failed, you would auto-declare war on Poland. So yeah, I went to war with Poland immediately and didn't realize that. So I was at war with both France, Italy, Poland, Austria, and Lithuania, as well as the British Empire because they hate me. So that was very interesting to play as. Very interesting. I actually, uh, I didn't rage quit, but... It was really annoying going against all those countries at one time. It was it Belgium, France, UK, or British Empire, Austria, Italy, Poland, Lithuania? I mean, I was almost attacked on all sides. Absolutely nuts. Anyways, um, they're too far away. Uh, actually, if they're too far away, then I will go ahead and actually just rebase you somewhere else instead of Hawaii. Uh, over here, it's not a great port, but if we're up there, then they can definitely reach everyone else. So, let's do that real quick. And we will launch the invasion of Cascadia. I should give it an operational name. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I don't know why. I, I like the term big wig. Maybe, oh, this is a really nice encirclement. Oh, baby. If I'm going to invade Cascadia, you got to have a cool name, right? I'm thinking Operation Big Wig. I don't know why. People just wouldn't think of, you know, invading Alaska as big wig. No. Oh, no. If we're going to invade America, and because of the natural terrain, I suppose, or the animals that are within Alaska, I'm not going to call it Operation Big Wig. No. Operation Bull Moose. That's right. Bull Moose. I think that'd be a cool name, just because that refers to Teddy Roosevelt, who's an American, and yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Operation Bull Moose. And yes, I don't come up with these names before I actually start playing. I just come up with stuff as I'm playing. So, yeah. Uh, jungle Specialist Level 6? Great. Hmm. Very nice. Now, when we do invade the U.S., it's going to be very tough to fight into there. They got about... Oh, my God. Probably around 10 million, maybe 11 million manpower. Jesus. I mean, we've killed their Merchant Marine. I mean... 22 ships max for uh, convoys? That's pretty bad, not gonna lie. That's pretty terrible. Alright, so everyone should be operating hopefully fairly well. There you go. Hopefully we can have at least some coverage here. Because I don't want to lose my soldiers. But you know what? If we end up losing soldiers, at least they're Polish. So, <laughs> oh man. Alright, Operation Bull Moose, you are approved to go. Godspeed, or Trotsky speed, the proletariat speed. Let's go at it, boys. And ignore what's happening, because we lost five convoys, or maybe a plane or two. Awesome. South America's been wrapping up pretty nicely, actually, without me even paying attention to it. That's actually really awesome. Uh, I mean, our allies have gotten more soldiers up here. Actually, I don't mind if you guys garrison this. And do the... What is it? Prince Edward Island or something over here? Oh, it's laggy. St. Saint Pierre and McQuailon. Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Cool. United Mexican States. And we are off. Soldaten. Oh, Soldaten, that's German. What are soldiers in Russian? Hmm. Ah, very good. Oh, look at those boys. Look at those Polish boys. Really Russian baby boys, but whatever. Ah, yes. No one expects the invasion of Alaska and Cascadia. Especially if we had all this time to invade through the Atlantic. But you know what? Whatever. Ah, those m mighty Polish boys. With some Russian divisions, or some Russian manpower in there as well. Ah, and as we're invading, we get immigrants. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Have we landed on American soil yet? No, not yet. Very soon, though. Oh, do we sink a ship? Oh, maybe we have. Oh, two more American ships. Very nice. Ah, love it. And... Okay, it's taking quite a while to land. And we've taken the first piece of American soil. Actually, what it really should have been, Russian soil. You know, it was Russian at one point, so it should probably stay Russian by the time of the end of this war. Go ahead and try to make 
a line up to there. That'd be great. Yep, Operation Bull Moose. And it's very early stages. Seems to be somewhat successful. I can see we get 1.2 political power a day. Institute press censorship. Open the Kara Kajaran mine. Factory output goes down. That doesn't seem like it's really worth it. Um, let's do this and then this, because why not? And we took this tile as well. Good job, my Polish boys. It might be a little cold here. What is the temperature? It's 12 degrees Celsius. Uh, as a filthy American, 12 degree, 11 to 12 degrees Celsius is what? Is that like 60 degrees maybe Fahrenheit? I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, oh, we landed. Oh, oh God, no. We got to definitely build this area up. They actually defended their ports. Go figure. Canadians defended their ports. Uh, oh, they really actually defended their ports really well over here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. They're attacking us. We got to build up something over here. The Americans have figured out that we've landed. That's not good. Oh, actually, they're killing themselves trying to attack this area. Uh, but uh, I, I try to attack. Their organization is bad, but... Oh, uh, then they're going to keep adding more soldiers. Yeah, it's just best to hold still for now. Hold still. They're going to keep... I might lose those divisions. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Attack that way since we do have the port now, which is great. Go ahead and try to link yourself down there as well. And then link yourself. Oh, you're just moving around, which is, which is good as well. We need to have, like, a front line around here. Oh, God, this is not good. I can't even pull it out. But, you know what, that's why we sent the poles in. Uh, we're oh, actually, we can... Oh, yeah, definitely improve the infrastructure here. Get some ports going on through here. Get some radar as well. Definitely some air bases. Good stuff like that. Great. And they canceled lend -lease. Whatever. Cool. No, we lost the poles. Well... That's why we keep making more and more. No worries. And, ah, see, we lost one. We get an immediate replacement. You gotta love the Polish people. They know how to replace stuff quickly. So we lost that. No, oh, well, big deal. So, which means, uh, I mean, all, in all honesty, just go ahead, everyone do this. And we're gonna go from a front, from the Arctic Circle, down to about there. If we can do that, that would be great. Oh, yeah, take that air base. Take all that stuff, man. Uh, how many divisions are actually doing this? Nine? That's not bad. Nine divisions is fine. Fourteen over here isn't bad either. So, Did we actually win that area? Oh, we won that tile. Nice. Good job, guys. So, they're, they're going to go ahead and keep doing stuff. We have invaded. Invasion Bull Moose. Yeah, we got, took a couple casualties. But whatever. No one's really counting. And, oh my gosh. Thirty allied divisions right here. Thirty. Never mind. They're gone. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Crikey. Great job, guys. That was awesome. Because we couldn't get the Galapagos yet, but that's okay. Oh, it's lagging hard. Oof. Russian SFSR is looking fabulous. Great. Wait, what the? What the heck just happened? Unaligned States of America? The con Confederacy of... Are you in a civil war? Wait, what the heck? Eight million. Oh, that's, that's awesome manpower. Unaligned States. Who the hell are you? John Loring. I've never heard of you. You're not... The independence of unaligned states of America is being guaranteed by the commun... Why? This isn't Kaiserreich. What the heck? Um, a confederacy. Oh my god, we brought back the confederacy. Wait, who's... That? So that's their flag. They're, are there a monarchy? There's a crown in that. You guys are confederacy of American states. Not a lot of... Ma Why are you in Tennessee? I mean, yeah, it was part of the first American Civil War's Confederate States of America, but... What? What? Just... Did someone cause a coup or something? I mean... America? Like... Is this like a separate state for, like, black people or something? Because you were trying to desegregate everything? Okay, there we... What? The Confederacy of American... What is... <laughs> what the heck? The Confederate States are back... Oh. Wait, wait... What happened to, uh, that one state? Wait. So, the Americans... Well, no, the Confederacy of American States now has the American flag under Patrick Salomon, who I've never heard of before. Uh, how? Why? This is, this is literally turning into Kaiserreich right now. 
near our end of our campaign for Road to 56 mod, we have the Midwestern states, some of them, versus the South, or I guess independence being guaranteed by the South, which has the American flag compared to the Communist States of America. Oh my goodness, what is going on in this world? This is just... Oh, what is going on? Actually, you know what, just go ahead and send everyone this way, just because it's kind of a mess. But this is... this is special. It is definitely special. Go ahead and come up here. Just take whatever you can. No, oh, well, whatever. Cool. This is wonk... oh! The British thingy. Alright, well then. This is very disgusting and very interesting to look at. Why is there a second American Civil War? It's 1953! Unhappy with the policies of President Earl Browder, the legislatures of several U.S. states have voted to secede from the Union. Oh my goodness. I mean, good lord. Earl Browder, how did you... why? I mean, these guys seceded. Nothing's happening to them. They actually got more divisions, huh? Oh my goodness, what has happened to my game? What in the world? Anyways, let's go ahead and um, tell you guys to all stop that. Uh, I think they should be okay. Eh, I want to invade Mexico and the other side of the United States because apparently we're going to take out the Confederacy as well as the unaligned states of America. I mean, this is what has gone on. But regardless, we have done well. We have launched Operation Bull Moose. We definitely have a good enough, I would say, uh, beachhead. Definitely a good beachhead for our work that will occur in Cascadia. Next up will be Operation... Um, something else. Next operation into this part of the United States. You know what? No. You're not going to resupply on our ports because we need our ports. And actually I'll probably justify on them if they cannot actually defeat the communist states. Or they do beat the communist states. Regardless, uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. <laughs> and the Confederacy failed! <laughs> wow. That was fast. Anyways, thank you very much for watching guys. This was one very weird video. Uh, so like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we will just continue invading the, uh, the various uninterested and angry, angrily internaled states. Thank you very much for watching.